Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Liz. In today's video, I thought it'd be really fun to share with you the products I think from Dollar Tree that are better than retail. The products that when I think of where to buy this, I automatically think Dollar Tree over anywhere else. You guys know I'm obsessed with Dollar Tree. I go there way too much, so I definitely feel overqualified to do this video. Now, some of these things I've mentioned before on my channel, others I've not, so let's get started on my list. So the first thing is definitely the towel bar that I have in my kitchen. I've told you guys before that I previously had one that I bought from Target that was between seven and $10. I'm not sure of the exact price, but the one at Dollar Tree is so much better. It's adjustable. You can move it out and move it in. They usually sell it in the cleaning section. I don't see it all the time, but if you see it, definitely pick it up. Now the next thing I know I've told you guys about, but I have to put it on this list, is definitely the red spatula that I use. This is the tiny spatula that has the two ends. I love it for scooping things out of a jar, and it's just one of those tools in my kitchen that I use frequently, and if I thought about where I need to go buy a spatula to do that job, it would definitely be Dollar Tree. So the next product that I think that's better than retail are definitely the balloons at Dollar Tree. These balloons last forever and they're definitely less expensive than if you went to Party City or like your local grocery store. That's kind of where we get balloons around here, but, and they have a pretty good selection. So when I think of purchasing balloons, I definitely think Dollar Tree. Now to go along with balloons and that sort of party theme, gift bags. When I think of where I'm going to buy gift bags, it doesn't matter if it's birthday, baby shower, Christmas, there is hands down no other place but Dollar Tree. You can get these huge gift bags for a dollar. Nowhere else comes close to those prices. So I definitely buy all my gift bags at Dollar Tree. So this next item may seem super random. If you've ever put up a ponytail for little girls, you always have to get the bumps out. And this brush from Dollar Tree does the job better than any brush that I've ever used. This is what I use most mornings whenever I'm putting in my girls' ponytails. I just use this at the end to kind of pull up and get out any bumps in their hair before I put in the elastic. This is definitely one of my favorite things. I know I haven't told you guys about this in the past, but if you have little girls, and you're struggling with ponytails, get this. So this next item is, I think, kind of a newer item that they sell at Dollar Tree, and it is their paint pens. Now, their paint pens are great quality, and honestly, I've never used a paint pen that I like as much as this one, which I think that's saying a lot. This is great. You can use it on fabric. I've used it on making my different rope trays. Now, they also have these pens that they call chalk writers, and I can use these sometimes as well. I definitely prefer the paint pens and I believe the paint pens come in black white I think I've seen them in gold and silver but if you see this kind of little paint pen you definitely want to pick it up because I don't always see it out at my store so definitely give them a try if you haven't already so this next item I definitely buy at Dollar Tree more than any other places and that is the glass vases. If I need a glass vase, I'm going to Dollar Tree. Because they have a great selection, you know they're always a dollar and they're great for so many DIY projects. I mean, probably every time I go to Dollar Tree, I at least buy some glass vase. So that's definitely hands down the place for glass vases. So the next thing, it's not a DIY thing, but they're cards. I mean, let's talk about how you can get birthday cards, you know, any occasion cards, two for a dollar. Like you go to Walmart or Target and you're gonna spend like three to $5 for a card. And some of their cards are, you know, totally cute. I love picking up cards at Dollar Tree. So do not miss out on Dollar Tree cards. So this next item I believe is a newer item since they added in their wood section and it's this natural jute cord. This product, I really like it because sometimes jute cord can be really thick or it's too thin. This is a great size that where it works for a variety of projects and you know, for a dollar you get a ton of it. So I definitely think if you see this at your store, pick it up because you'll use it in your DIYs. 
So the next thing at Dollar Tree that's definitely better than retail is the Mod Podge. I love picking up Mod Podge. Now you may be thinking, well Liz, the Mod Podge at Dollar Tree comes in like this small little container, so why do you like that better? Well, I find with glues and stuff, if I buy a big container, it gets gunky before I actually have a chance to use it. So I like the smaller container. I'm able to use the whole thing and it's good the whole entire way. They do have the matte that's yellow. They also have the red label, which is the shiny kind. I always get the matte. I wish they would come out with the dishwasher safe one that's a, I believe, is it blue? Let me see. I have it over here. So the dishwasher safe one is a blue label. I did have to buy this at Walmart, but if they would come out with this, that would be great. Now this next one, I know you guys get this at Dollar Tree too, the sticker labels, the transfer labels, like when you think of those, you definitely think of Dollar Tree. They have some really cute number and letter stickers. More recently, they started to come in with these like rub on transfers. These are great. I use these in so many different projects and they easily go on to whatever you're creating. They look very similar to like a vinyl decal that you could cut out. These are great. And I mean, think about how many different projects you can get out of just this one container for a dollar. The next thing that I really like to get at Dollar Tree for just a dollar is their Clorox wipes. Now they have the larger containers. I like to get this smaller container because it easily throws in my purse. This just takes up less room. I throw this in my purse so I always have like disinfecting wipes for carts. Like I never have to worry about the store having it. I always have them on hand. So I always grab one of these if they're available. Luckily, I'm starting to see them at more of my stores. So I definitely grab these and they're cheaper than if you got them at Walmart. This next one may be controversial because I know people get these at different places, but I still buy my foam brushes at Dollar Tree and I go through a quite a bit of foam brushes. Now there's two different options and I actually like them both. I'm gonna tell you why I like the different ones. Now this one you can buy like their tool section. And the reason I like this one is because it is a variety pack. You're able to get a bunch of different sizes. And sometimes when I'm doing something that's larger, I like to use a larger brush. This size is in the craft section with all the wood items. And these are kind of like tinier little brushes, which I love because they fit perfectly into little bottles like this and you can just use them. You don't, you know, it's just super easy. So I actually get both sizes and I find that I use both sizes. So every time I go to Dollar Tree, I typically pick up some foam brushes. These little movie candy boxes, I think are a great deal. If you're needing these, they're definitely a good deal at Dollar Tree. I know through quarantine, we've had some fun movie nights where we acted like we had a movie theater or house. I got these boxes for my girls along with different foods and they were super excited and thought it was such a fun little activity. So maybe that's something you could do at home with your family. Now, when spring hits, I am all about grabbing the planters at Dollar Tree. They have some great selection, and over the years, they really started to get some really great ones. And with any of their plastic planters, you can always update them by spray painting them to make them any color you want. This year, I came across this huge planter. Look how big this is, you guys. This is actually two of them. But they have never had this large of planters for a dollar. So I'm definitely going to be doing a spring DIY with these. But if you see these, I've seen them in this color. I've also seen them in terracotta. Just grab them. They also have terracotta pots. They have a smaller size that comes in a pack of three and a little bit larger that comes in a pack of two. These go really quick during spring, but they're great for little projects. I love putting succulents in these. I've bought terracotta pots from Walmart, but I definitely spend more at Walmart than I do at Dollar Tree. So if I'm buying pots, I'm going to Dollar Tree first. If I had to pick the one item at Dollar Tree that I probably bought the most of over the years, it's definitely their organizing bins. Like, can we talk about how good a deal their organizing bins are? Now, I do have some issues with my Dollar Tree because lately we have not had those pretty blue and pink bins that everybody's showing, but that's okay because I still like the white ones and the different options they have. But for organizing, you cannot beat these containers. I have organizing bins from Dollar Tree all over my house and they're just such a good deal. You know, you can organize a large space, a craft room, a closet for a really minimal cost by going to Dollar Tree and buying their bins. 
This next item you guys might not think of, I always think of Dollar Tree first whenever I'm gonna buy ribbon. I used to have a business making hair bows, so I bought a lot of ribbon. And you can get ribbon at Hobby Lobby, but you can't beat that dollar price for their ribbon. And if you go through their ribbons, oftentimes they have some really cute ones. I wanna show you the ribbon that I found this spring. I think this burlap ribbon is adorable. It's gonna look so cute in projects. Now, I don't like all their ribbons, so make sure you go through and pick out the good kind, but I think these are great. So if you see these this spring, definitely pick these up. All right, you guys, so this is my succulent container that's already in my craft room. I decided I wasn't gonna buy any more this spring. I'm trying to really cut back. <laughs> But Dollar Tree has some gorgeous succulents. Anytime I'm thinking succulents, I go to Dollar Tree. Now I do buy florals at Walmart. I also buy some at Hobby Lobby, but succulents, I'm going to Dollar Tree. This one I think is probably my favorite. I've seen it out again this year. I have a couple of those and then, okay, I told you I didn't buy any this year and I know I bought this one this year. Here is a newer one that they have out this year as well. If I will tell you, if you see a succulent and you like, go ahead and buy it because the good ones do go quickly. And if you need them, you don't wanna miss out. So the next item that I definitely think to buy at Dollar Tree is the floral foam. I don't use floral foam a ton, but when you need it, you need it. So it's definitely cheaper to get it at Dollar Tree. So I always go there first. Now this next item isn't as glamorous, but it's definitely something you need. And that is envelopes and bubble mailers. Those you can get really inexpensive at Dollar Tree. I love that they have the 30 envelopes with the peel off stickiness that you can get. That is cheaper than you can buy them at Walmart or anywhere. So I definitely buy my envelopes there if I'm needing envelopes. Now another kitchen item that I definitely will buy at Dollar Tree first is their foil and wax paper. It's just such a better deal at Dollar Tree. I don't use it very much, so if I need a little bit, I go ahead and get it from Dollar Tree versus buying it anywhere else. I always think of Dollar Tree first. I know I'm definitely missing some items, so you guys are gonna have to let me know down in the comments which items you choose to buy at Dollar Tree over any retail store. Before you guys go, I wanna tell you about something that I have been working on since September that I'm so proud of, and I wanna let you know about it. I get messages from you guys all the time asking me for help in starting your very own YouTube channel. You wanna know how to grow your YouTube channel, how to make a successful YouTube channel. There's so much that I wanna share that it's just really hard to do in a single email. And when I started on YouTube, you guys, I was really hesitant. I was scared. I felt awkward in front of the camera. Now I don't feel awkward. Now I feel like it's just having a conversation with my friends. But at first it was scary for me, but I'm so glad that I was able to push past those fears and start my channel because I've built something today that I'm so very proud of. So I want to help people who are interested in starting on YouTube do the exact same thing. So if you've ever thought about starting a YouTube channel or maybe you currently have a YouTube channel and you're looking to grow, I want to invite you to take a free training that I put together where I'm gonna share with you how I was able to beat my fears and start a channel on YouTube. So if you'd like to take my training, I will link it for you down in the description box. So I can't wait to see you in the training and I will talk to you guys in our next video. Bye.